Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Poland today meeting the top leadership of the country and the Indian community. We'll discuss the strategic significance of this visit and why India is investing in Central Europe. Of course, the larger focus is on his next stop, Ukraine. The first visit by any Indian Prime Minister to Ukraine. It comes at a time when Kiev is attacking Moscow with drones. In the US, the Obamas are firing up the Democratic Party to build support for Kamala Harris, while Silicon Valley seems to be throwing its weight behind Donald Trump. In India, the rupee is falling and inflation fears have resurfaced again. We'll explain why. Mpox cases are on the rise. Argentina has quarantined a, a whole ship as Africa appeals for vaccines. In Sweden, the hunting season has begun and the government has given the green light for the killing of 20% of their bear population. India's Commerce Minister has raised concerns about the boom in the e-commerce business. Japan is suffering a cultural shock after their convenience store chain 7-Eleven gets a buyout bid. In Kenya, a vampire serial killer is on the loose and eight cops have been arrested for this. And can you outsource parenting? Graduates from top colleges are offering child companionship and parents are renting their services. All this and more coming up, the headlines first. Top US diplomat Antony Blinken leaves West Asia empty-handed. There is still no Gaza ceasefire deal. Israel and Hamas have blamed each other for delaying the truce deal. The US has warned both parties that this may be the last chance to avoid a broader war. West African junta's right to the United Nations, Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger accused Ukraine of supporting rebel groups in the Sahel region. The junta's claim Kiev is threatening regional stability. Ukraine has denied the allegations. Earlier this month, Mali and Niger cut diplomatic ties with Kiev. Taiwan's president warns that China's authoritarianism won't stop with the island. Urging democratic countries to unite to curb Beijing's expansionism, China claims Taiwan as part of its territory. Lai ching took charge of the self-ruled island in May. Beijing has labelled him a quote-unquote dangerous separatist. Four bodies found from the luxury yacht that sank off Sicily. This takes the total death toll to five. Hopes of finding the other missing passengers alive are fading fast. The yacht is largely intact and resting on the seabed some 50 metres down. And Tesla to recall more than 9,000 Model X SUVs in the US. It's over a trim on the roof that could separate, increasing the risk of a crash. This year, Tesla has recalled nearly 3 million vehicles over safety concerns, but this is a rare physical recall for the Elon Musk owned company. Across continents, one powerful news source. bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 network initiative.
Hello and welcome to First Coast America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 